everyone so much for waiting. We know you guys are probably wondering what's going on. So uh, you've presumably introduced yourselves and cozied up to your neighbors. Please keep the masks on for the remainder of the experience. Obviously, if it's very uncomfortable or anything like that, you know, feel free and lift it up, but try to conceal your identity, if you will. All right. Um, just while I have everyone's attention, if at any point during this experience you have questions, concerns, or troubleshooting required, please flag any one of us down. Raise your hand, uh, Ariel, Samia, Zoe, and uh, Tara in the back somewhere. So regardless, we'll be running around, so just please flag us down. Um, and I guess we'll just begin. So we are volunteers for the anonymous artist Piggy Banksy, and today we're going to help him out, okay, with his latest collaborative art project. Uh, it's about social change, and as a general rule, we encourage provocative and subversive content, but have zero tolerance for hateful work. Uh, all right, now, so everyone on your iPads, uh, please press ready, and if you have any questions, like I said, flag one of us down, and we will attend to it immediately. All right, and let's begin. Okay. Hello. Hello, co-conspirators. I go by Piggy Banksy, and by donning the mask, so do you. As a street artist, I find strength in anonymity. Will you leave today complacent? stuck in your routine as a bystander? Or will you challenge yourself to stand up for what you believe in and be the change you want to see in the world? That is entirely up to you. Piggy, out. Okay. Okay, so uh, in our first round, what we, as you're all attending Games for Change, uh, we would like to discuss some social issues relevant to this community. The first activity is to write at least one social issue each that you were personally outraged by, and when each person has finished, please hit next and pass the, uh, pass the iPad to the next person in your group. You have seven minutes for this activity, and again, flag us down if you have any questions. Please begin. Just, if you are having any trouble thinking up of an issue, please just remember uh, personal matters and personal things that relate to whatever you are experiencing would be the best. If you're done early, please discuss with your fellow groupmates why you may have chosen that particular issue and written it down. Okay, everybody, so thanks for waiting. For the second round, your task is to discuss your personal experiences on your chosen issue with your group, and then afterwards decide on a single issue to come to a consensus that you could march for. When your table has finished coming to a consensus, please press type to type the issue into the text box. Watch the word count. You have three minutes.
You have 30 seconds left. Alrighty, everybody, time is up. So please, if you haven't submitted yet, please submit that typed issue and we'll move on. We'll extend the time just a little bit to let the stragglers catch up. All right. All right, everybody. Uh, now we'll go on to the next round. Oh. Whoa. Greetings. Now you have an issue you're passionate about. But what is no one saying that needs to be said? Next, we'll be making a poster that shakes up the world. I mean, I heard you were a creative bunch. So here's a little gift inspire your next work. Piggy, out. Man, that guy never lets me say bye. But, so, here are all the issues in the room. Ooh. Ooh, okay. The internet does work. This mouse. There you go. Imposter syndrome. So, also, if you see your posters, uh, please cheer. Woo! Sustainability. Education, SOS. Police brutality, harassment, health, wealth, and knowledge, homelessness, racism, women's rights and safety, inequality, income disparity, and climate crisis. All right. So now you have a sense of what you all care about in this room, and we'll continue to the next <laughs> round. So with this particular round, the task is to craft a provocative message. What makes your group motivated to talk about this topic? Again, what is no one saying that needs to be said? Please encapsulate your thoughts into one sentence by typing it into the text box like before. Don't be afraid to express how you really feel. Just do it. You have seven minutes. If you haven't submitted it, please begin writing your statement now. Five seconds. Okay, everyone, that about wraps up this round. If you haven't submitted, please submit. Okay, thank you everybody for submitting. So, for the fourth round, 
Your task is to collaborate on creating one symbol or combination of symbols that most effectively captures your message. Consider what symbols are associated with your issue and which symbols have power, perhaps through techniques like juxtaposition and otherwise. Remember that simplicity is just as powerful with the right message. You have seven minutes in light of the shortened time. Samia. Ten seconds. Good. All right. Thank you, everybody. So now for our next fifth round, please select a location in the surrounding area, you may recognize these locations, to secretly leave your message. Once confirmed, you can physically resize and rotate your poster accordingly. You have three minutes. All right. So this round is called the hot seat. We'd like to hear a short elevator pitch about your artwork from a group representative, as well as why you chose the location you picked in the last round. Now, if you are one of the analog paper people, please just hold up your posters as accordingly and we'll roll with that. And we will be coming around with this microphone, uh, this special microphone, to hear what you have to say. Thank you. So, hello everyone. Uh, our poster is, we're all just making shit up. This is to address imposter syndrome and how in a lot of ways that creates a barrier for people to continuing to uh, go forward and do things that they like and follow uh, what is essentially their passions or their dreams. Uh, we wanted to put it right on the doorway that you have to go through to enter to see a lot of the keynotes, because uh, in a way that's a space where you feel like, oh, this person up here knows everything, they know what they're talking about, they did it, they made it. Um, but kind of just addressing the fact that we all kind of just make shit up. Uh, and that this poster is something that you have to go through to get to that space. <laughs> yeah. So hi, so there are a few uh, issues that interest us, but we realize that with no planet, all of the usher, other issues don't really matter. Uh, so we chose this one, because a few of us are involved in things um, revolving around sustainability. And we said, save the planet, we want you, because basically it just starts with each and every one of us. And if we all count on someone else to do something, then we're fucked. Uh, so please consider this message and pass it on. Thank you. We were centered around education, and because we had to be provocative, we are learn change before we die. Um, and then we have a logo, that's beautiful, um, that has a book and you know a skull to remind us that you know time is limited and we should learn and change and make the world a place we want to see. And yeah, we were all just gravitating towards stairwells, I guess, so that's why we put it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Hey, so ours was about uh, police brutality, and uh, we put Pigs Wake Up as kind of like a, a pun, you know, because uh, 
we're all wearing these pigs max here and we chose to put it next to the American flag because you know in a setting like this it's very easy to it to become an echo chamber about you know us we're, oh yeah that's that's terrible but uh, we wanted to put it here because we got to realize that we're all pigs and that we need to like wake up and realize that like we can't just talk about it and say oh that sucks we got to like do something about it and it can start with you and your family and you can bring it from there <laughs> So uh, we did harassment. Is um, our slogan is kind of like "Think before you harass" because your your uh, behavior will be reflected back at you, which is kind of also reflected in our symbol, which is the mirror message of what like how what you put out will eventually come back to you because uh, well it will. <laughs> and um, we put ours next to um, the American flag that says "Think," kind of be like a "Think before you speak." Like, do you, do you really want to put this out into the world? And also, it, since it has glass over, it's reflective. So it also is like, OK, how you behave is going to reflect back at you. And it's going to it, it's going to be pointed back at you sometime. So like, what you do will eventually come back to haunt you, or someone else will do it to you. So that's what we did. Hi, so our topic was health, wellness, and knowledge. And so basically we were thinking about the government system that we live in and how it's pretty gridlocked and how we don't have accessibility to equity when it comes to wealth, when it comes to knowledge and higher education, and especially when it comes to healthcare. And so we basically wanted to make it feel like this is not fair. So this idea of we're getting screwed, this idea that certain leadership can be tools in our society, um, it all kind of plays into this visual of these lightsabers that we can come together and band again, band together as Jedis, but also as against this is the idea of screwdrivers. Um, so knowledge is obviously represented in the book, the wealth is represented in the dollar sign, and the Red Cross is represented in health. And we chose to put it right next to the American Think flag as well. I think that could be a great rallying point for all of us, um, for all of our different issues that we all decided to put here, and especially when it comes to the government. Yay. Thank you. Uh, our, our topic, oh, yep, we're the analog team. Analog team. Woo! So yeah, our, our topic was about homelessness and how, and our, our slogan was that homelessness isn't a disease. Like there's no inherent quality in people that make them deserving of not having a home. And for our placement, we uh, chose the, the stairs of the conference because that what this is a social space that we're all welcome in, but we can't reside here forever and we don't know where people are going after they leave these very public spaces. and. Just, just that it's not a scene issue. All right. Hello, everybody. Um, we had a lot of, we had a variety of uh, social causes to march for, but we found that racism kind of umbrella uh, the variety of it so we picked racism and uh, obviously that's a uh, the clan mask uh, incorporated into the skull and bone symbol of death and we put it into the American flag um, to symbolize uh, that problem uh, to maximize impact um, so pretty self-explanatory how we got there. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hi, 
Okay. So uh, our slogan is, whose right to choose? Our issue was, of course, women's rights. So we made a symbol which is a combination of a question mark and women, right? Um, there's not really much more to say than that, I think. Uh, we put it, uh, well, we had an idea that maybe this was gonna be an AR experience, so we decided to put it near the Think uh, artwork so that when you held up your phone, you would see the two of them together. You guys should develop that. <laughs> So our issue was um, equality, or inequality, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I mean, basically the same. <laughs> um, so it kind of just, it's a simple message, but um, we thought it kind of served all of our, our issues and kind of all of the issues uh, came down to inequality. Um, so our message is simple, we are all the same, act like it, um, and then for the placement, we thought we would put it next to the American flag, <laughs> uh, like everyone else. Um, but we we liked the kind of the imagery of the equal sign next to the red stripes and you know that sort of thing. So yeah. Woo! We picked income equality, uh, disparity as our topic, and um, it's pervasive, divisive, and destructive. We put it on top of the American flag because it's in the way, and uh, we think you should have to confront it. Yeah. Sorry. All right, so we, um, we're doing climate change, but we decided to point it back at ourselves and do something that would be uh, provocative to this group, to, to us. Uh, we all love technology. We know it has a huge carbon footprint, and uh, I guess uh, gamers generate something like 12 million tons of carbon every year playing games. And so we decided to um, uh, turn it back at ourselves and ask, you know, what we would give up to uh, to solve this. And, uh, <laughs> Okay, so that about wraps up our game, but like Piggy said, does it end here? You should have all received your posters by now or are getting them back as we speak, so we'd like to offer you some tape on your way out to see how far you'd really go in real life. This is your final task as a group. Disclaimer, Team Paradigm is not responsible if the building gets mad at you. Uh, we also... <laughs> We also have a template version of our workshop game to run in your own communities via the link that I'll show in a moment. And uh, please remember to just put the posters up on the bulletin boards, if possible. Thank you all so much for participating in our Piggy Banksy experience. Thank you all.